So, Miss Possible, tell me what's on your mind. So this is episode earlier in season 4, their premiere, and I still don't really care for it despite the whole fandom loving it. Oh, and why is that? I think it's something to do with how Discord was written. He seems off, and that was enough to ruin the entire thing for me. It just did. Can you remember a specific moment in that episode that made you feel that way? I guess the whole line where he mistakes Fluttershy's name strikes me not only as off, but out of character given what we've seen in his previous appearance. I've come to terms with now given that it seems like a fluke, but at the time I didn't know that. So you had trouble dealing with that episode as a whole because of that one moment? I guess so. You see, Discord is what brought me into the fandom and gives me the passion that I have. I guess by that thinking, I expect much more from his appearances, and this did not deliver. Hmm. Well, his latest appearance before Season 4 dealt with his reformation, a new beginning for him, a sign that he would change for the better. Before that point, I suppose we really wouldn't have been as surprised that Discord was mistaking Fluttershy's name. But Keep Calm and Flutter On had built up his character to be something new, a fair bit more genuine. Would you have thought differently about that one moment from Discord in the season premiere if he hadn't shown quite a change of heart in Keep Calm and Flutter On? No. His change of heart makes his character for me. Makes him complex, interesting. I go on and on, but I won't. For the sake of time, anyway. He's a different character now, and I like it better this way. So, no. So maybe the better question is... Did Princess Twilight Sparkle give us par for the course? Give us a discord that was similar to how he was first introduced to the show? And if that's the case, perhaps we were granted a discord so much more interesting all because of Keep Calm and Flutter On. I can only imagine how different the show would have been without that episode. I'm all for honoring discord's past, but I'd say do it in a way that ties his past to his present. I think this is something the episode lacked and wanted to do more along the lines of showing the fans that Discord was still himself despite his reformation, which kills a newer part of the character for me. I wonder, is it possible that the writers became worried that Discord had moved past his struggles too quickly? Maybe they thought that in order for the rest of Season 4 to work properly with Discord's story arc, they needed to show a bit more weakness to his character in the early stages. I was genuinely surprised when Discord had decided to try and recapture his freedom during the season finale. I thought that was a good shift to his demeanor and a welcome conflict in his character arc. Would that have been as believable and memorable if Discord had dialed back his insensitive behavior early on in the season? I'm not saying that I agree with that moment when he just forgot Fluttershy's name, but I think I can understand what the writers were going for. Maybe you're right in feeling that moment took things too far. However, would seeing things from this perspective change your outlook on the season premiere at all? I understand that, but I guess I'm just stubborn. I'm not asking for a dial down per se, but a better balance. I get what the writers are going for, but it could have been done better, is I think my point. I suppose most every character has a moment or two in the series that is just hard to swallow. One example that comes to mind was Pinkie Pie's role in Philly Vanilli. Now, I actually thought there was some interesting depth to how she acted there, and in some ways her behavior is something I can relate to as well. But at the same time, I know a lot of people really felt troubled by how far the writers took that aspect of her character. It wasn't the first time she showed her insensitivity, and it likely won't be the last either. But perhaps the writers might have taken that part of her mindset a little too far for much of the audience to enjoy and agree with. And in some ways, I think it was rather comparable with you when watching Discord in the season premiere. Can you think of any other character moments that gave you similar feelings? There's always the popular mare do well episode, but I guess the short story is that the writers aren't perfect. Well, I'm sure your watchers would love to get your take on how you would tweak certain scenes and story elements, especially in regards to your favorite character. Would you feel up to making a video on how you would rewrite an episode? I'm not the writing type, though it is a good suggestion, or even dare. Wink, wink. Well, I would recommend that anyone who feels an episode doesn't quite meet their expectations to try and give just a little effort on how they would make it better overall. I've made a few videos on what I would change about the show, and when I stepped back and reviewed my work, it helped me to realize just how hard it is to tweak one element in an episode without unraveling another element somewhere else. It made me better appreciate what the writers go through when they devote their energies to such a craft as a full-time career. 
Even if you don't end up making a video project out of it, I'd suggest that you and even the audience give it a shot from time to time. Who knows? You might surprise yourself on what you can come up with. It's a date, so to speak. Glad to hear it, Miss Possible. Shall we continue on this next week? Sounds good. Next week, piracy and hypocrisy. I look forward to that. Take care, Miss Possible. It's good to be helping.